Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Alex Hanway. I'm from uh, Talis CPL, uh, Business Development Director. Uh, and I'm here today to uh, share with you a little bit why hardware security modules are important and what they mean for you in uh, developing uh, on a trusted foundation. Um, so starting off, I know uh, there's an entire day today around uh, cloud native uh, security uh, development. Uh, but just sharing, so why are we talking about security? Everyone kind of comes to this from, from a different vantage point. Uh, for us at Dallas, uh, Talos, we focus purely on the data, right? What does that mean to keep your data uh, safe and secure? Uh, and for us, the measure by which uh, we see if someone's secure or not is whether they're breached and what are the impacts of those breaches. Um, we collect data on this year over year. Um, we uh, publish a report uh, annually. And for the last eight years, we've seen that uh, the number of breaches are increasing year over year. And uh, correspondingly, the severity of those breaches have also increased. So this is a, a prevalent problem that's really here to stay. Right. So this is the, the first reason why we talk about security. And uh, the second is that this is intimately tied with compliance. Um, I, earlier today, uh, Kirsten Newcomer gave a presentation where she shared some of the survey results from Red Hat, whereby 67% of enterprises that responded to their survey said that uh, compliance is a must have for their organization. Um, it doesn't really matter what industry you work in, what your geography is, there's some rule or regulation out there that governs how you secure your data, right? It can be as prescriptive as PCI that says encryption and key management is mandatory, or it can be something as generic as GDPR that says you must demonstrate control of your data. Uh, but either way, that, that's there, right? It's a requirement is something that the organizations, especially large enterprises, which I'm sure uh, most of the people here in the, uh, the audience today is, uh, is tied to, right? Um, and with the, the greater adoption of DevOps methodologies, no longer is security just that last step before the application goes to production, right? Uh, it's now included in every single step along the development pipeline. So it's all of our jobs. And we at Talos want to help uh, instill that early in the application development process and to help you bring trust to, to those conversations. So that's why we're intimately partnering with Red Hat as strategic security partners to help in the, uh, address those challenges. And we do this through application encryption, tokenization, uh, file encryption, uh, but what I'm gonna focus on today are hardware security modules, or what we lovingly call HSMs. What is an HSM? Well, quick question, show of hands, how many of you are familiar with what a uh, hardware security module is? Okay, all right, about 40% about of the, the audience. For those of you that don't know, an HSM is a physical appliance uh, whose sole purpose is the logical and physical security of your cryptographic material, your encryption keys, your certificates. So you can think of it like a bank vault with a guard in front. Uh, once you put a key in the HSM, it's never coming out. It's designed so you can't extract it. Uh, why this is relevant is that once that key's in there, it's entirely trusted. You know no one else has access to it. Um, you can demonstrate its provenance. So every time you build cryptography into your application using that key, you can trust that cryptography. And this matters at, at scale when you think about what you do uh, in, in your enterprises and what you develop. All right. In addition to that, there's an entropy engine. So if you were to uh, generate your own encryption, uh, you can trust the, the roots of that as well. So you bring a robust performant uh, solution to what you're doing. Um, why that matters, why how we work with OpenShift, uh, we have containerized our, our clients uh, for you to use in your pods and your development so that your uh, uh, applications spin up and down, whether it's ephemeral, uh, you know, wherever you move those containers, uh, it will always call back to your key securely stored in our HSM. So if your application needs to demonstrate uh, its identity, if you need to sign a container, if you need to incorporate encryption directly into your application, you can do all of that uh, as you develop. And when it's running in production, it can always call back to your HSM, irrespective of where you're deploying that application, on-prem, in cloud, or across multiple clouds. So in closing, what you get is the ability to develop uh, in a secure way across any industry, any environment, any application, uh, so that you can keep your data safe, secure, and you yourself compliant. So uh, with that, 
at the end of my lightning, uh, lightning talk, if you have questions, you can either find me after uh, the talk today. I'll be around all week, or you can find us uh, on our social, social media channels uh, for more information. All right, thank you.